Hello and welcome to this FTB 1.12 Minecraft Revelation modded <laughs> Let's Play here on the Craftonomical server. I hope you're alright guys, I hope you're alright. As you can see, I am eating spring salad. Yum yum. <laughs> yeah, so the thing we built last time, that kind of works rather well I think. And I think we're going to keep it like this. Basically, when this thing is full, which it almost is now, uh, when this thing is full of energy, this thing will fill up, fill up, and any any um, overproduction will then go into the fridge. So that's all right. And as you can see, the bees are here. They're, they've reproduced. They're full. We can set up more of these things if we want to. Maybe on the outside or something like that. But anyway, that's not what we're going to do today. Today we're going to start with the rustic brewing first of all. And uh, yeah, I know the last couple of episodes have been really, really long. Um, this is going to be our brewing room. So I'm going to try and keep it brief today, okay? Uh, so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start with some really, really focused crafting. <laughs> um, what we want to do is we want to make some different things here. Uh, let's see. We want to make... First of all, there are two ways to do alchemy and rustic. The uh, alchemic condenser and the alchemic, the advanced alchemic condenser. And this is the thing we're gonna want, right? But just for looks and just because I like it, we're gonna first of all make this thing. And to go with it, you need two of these retorts. Uh, not any thistle, please. Thistle, yeah. So this is, uh, this is this thing, okay, and with this you can do some simple things, let's put it there for instance, right, you can do, and then you put the retorts facing, facing into it, okay, 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 facing into it like that, so you see there's a like, little pipe there, like that, and that's that done, and now you can put some ingredients here, put some fuel here, put some bottles here, and put some water here, and you will get some potions, uh, I will illustrate. So, you chuck the water in, uh, we need a piece of coal, no, <laughs> you chuck the coal in, and then in this case we want to put some sugar and some wind thistle in, and then we just chuck the bottles in, and uh, yeah, it starts brewing, and there is one thing, we, well we get a little shiny particle effect, that's cool, and there is one thing that is just awesome about these potions okay and I hope you can illustrate it I hope we have enough fuel uh, and stuff like that <clears throat> otherwise we'll put in another one here yeah so we have one here uh, it uses uh, a little bit of a bucket not too much <clears throat> so they, they look pretty cool but the most important thing is <laughs> hey I like the particle effect uh, the most important thing is this they stack. Oh my days, that is such an invention guys. <laughs> Honestly. <clears throat> they are cool. Okay, so the thing is though, what we want to do is we want to make more advanced potions in general, right? So we want to make the uh, advanced thingy. So let's do that quickly here. I should have all the things. One, two, three. We need three retorts here. Uh, and that's because one needs to be behind it and uh, I don't know right we could like I want to put it kind of here uh, but I can't right so I want to put it like this no <laughs> like that not exactly like that maybe like that uh, but this come on honestly uh, but this thing is not functional yet you can't even click on it uh, and I can probably move it out. Let's try and move it out and see how it feels, yeah? Uh, but otherwise I'm gonna have to make a little indentation in the building here. I don't really want to do that, to be honest. Though. Let's see. So there we go, that's that one and that one. And finally this one, right? And now we have this one. And as you can see it has three slots. Uh, but otherwise uh, it's the same. Apart from that it also has a fourth slot, which is a modifier slot. Uh, so again, I will illustrate uh, how you do this. You put some iron uh, berries, clay and leather in, for instance, I think. Put a piece of coal in. <clears throat> uh, 
and uh, <laughs> I need a bucket of water. I'll be right back. Okay, more particle effects, and just like that, we will now have quite a shiny potion actually that I am dying to try out. Elixir of Iron Skin, plus two armor, plus uh, plus three armor, plus two armor toughness. That's pretty darn good in a pinch, you know what I mean? And of course, to get the water, I used one of the speed potions, <laughs> and uh, yeah. That's uh, that's you know that's the whole thing. Now there is one more thing I haven't talked about, and that's the modifiers. Now you can put in a modifier, for instance, to make it eight minutes and stuff like that, just like in the normal alchemy. But generally speaking, it's just this thing. They stack. It's awesome, guys. It's really nice. So uh, that's what's in this room, right? But we're gonna have some more things here uh, in a minute. So what we want to do, what else we want to do today, I'm going to probably brew up some more potions. But what, the other thing we want to do today is we want to start with some brewing, some uh, ale and some uh, wine making. And to do that you need this thing, the crushing tub. And you can put things in here, and uh, so I will illustrate again. You can put things in here, such as an olive. And then if you hop on it a bit... <laughs> <laughs> you uh, soon enough can extract a bucket of olive oil okay that's really cool I gotta say and the reason for that is that if we take uh, and bottle this olive oil we can apply it to our food to get better food so let's try and figure out how to do that I don't know how to bottle it to be honest um, let's see let's put, uh, put it in the ground <laughs> Oops. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> this might not be the safest build in the world. Okay, let's uh, let's see here. Let's put it in the ground like that, and maybe uh, let's go and grab some bottles. What, what do I do with them all? Let's take half, right? And let's see if we can bottle it up. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, so oh, but that's rubbish, though. <laughs> we got one bottle of olive oil from one bucket of olive oil how does that work game a eh? but maybe we can do another one or something no oh we can't do it straight from that okay so maybe we need to pipe it out or something like that oh there isn't the whole bucket okay let's try and uh, well let's put in one <laughs> and see if that's enough oh okay and one equals just jumping once. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, see, we're learning here. Okay, so uh, look at this food. It has one hunch, haunch, and two and a half saturation, right? We just uh, chuck it in here with the olive oil. We get olive oiled spring salad, and it has suddenly has the same. That's not right. I don't think that's right. I think the tooltip is wrong. It should be increased by two haunches. Uh, not that we can see that now really, but yeah, okay. I'll, I'll wait until I'm really hungry and then we'll test it out. Right, while we wait for my hunger to appear, we will just point out that brick, aloe vera and coal makes fire resistance potions. And that's just really, really handy, that is. Uh, now we're going to do another thing as well. We're going to try and make some wine. Okay, and so you have these grape seeds in Rustic. And I guess you plant them uh, by hoeing something. Uh, let's see, what do we want to test this out? I've just laid out this wall just to show where the wall is going to be. We're going to have to uh, make it proper, probably in between episodes. Because, uh, to be honest, it's going to probably look a lot like this wall here. So, uh, I'll do that between episodes. But uh, for now, let's see, let's just try and have it out here. Just for now. Yeah, so you plant it like that. I should probably hydrate it as well. But then in order for it to grow properly, you need to have a wooden uh, stake here with some rope in between, I think, uh, if we can. Oh, it needs to be too high. Uh, just a second, guys. Let's see here. Let's break this. Wow, that's a sturdy pole. <laughs> <laughs> oh my days, that is one sturdy pot. Okay, so we can't do it here because the trapdoor will be in the way. So let's take our seed back 
and go and do it here. Yes, yes, yes. So like that, and I guess you put the rope in between like that. That's not a rope, honestly. But like that, yes. And uh, then you plant the seed. And let's see if I happen to have any bone meal on my person. No? Okay, so later on in the episode we're going to see if this works or not. I hope it does. Although they might be too tight still. Yeah, I'll, I'll give it a go. Okay guys, so I have three haunches missing. I should, with this uh, olive oil spring salad, get back all three. But I don't. Oh man, that is so annoying. I had really totally counted on this uh, food supply being worth it. Now I'm gonna have to eat all the time. That being said, I have a fair bit of salad and more coming in, so I'm not too worried about it. You know? It'll be fine. It'll be fine, guys. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, anyway, I, I modified this uh, grape vine, and uh, you have to have five blocks in total, so a, a free block in between. And as you can see, there are now grapes on here. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, uh, yep, you put them down in the thingy and you stomp on them like so. And, uh, oh, I have water in the bucket, that's very unfortunate. Well, whatever. <laughs> oh, we need more, okay. So let's just wait for more then and then we'll see if we can't bottle this and get some uh, decent wine to serve to our friends and neighbors. <laughs> Okay guys, so we now have a bucket of grape juice. Not exactly what we wanted, but I think it's a step towards wine. We need the brewing barrel, so let's make one of them. And uh, you know, that needs to go in here of course. Uh, maybe, maybe here for now. Okay, and when we put this here, we can see that there are three stages to this thing. So I guess we need to put that in there. And that'll ferment, presumably. That's probably what it's doing now. And it takes fair, a fair while. And then we will get some wine in these bottles. And the thing with it is, I think, that the wine has quality. And quality, it's, it'll start out as rubbish wine, right? You probably don't want to drink it. But then you can use some of the, that wine in here to create better wine next time. I think that's the idea. So we'll leave that running and we'll see how that does actually let's see if we can get another bucket out now uh let's let's see if we can uh, if we can we can probably do that two of them two grapes should maybe be enough here stands excellent okay let's uh, get some more <laughs> i'm planning to have like a whole vineyard here of course, because this is a vineyard, so we need to uh, be good at this stuff, so we need to figure out how it works. Okay, so this here now. Now, what happens if I put this in here? I can't. Okay, so this has to be wine, probably, then. But we can put another bucket in to get more, and so on and so forth. Right, so while this stuff is going on, we get more grapes, we get more salad, we get more... Uh, well, we get some wine. We are going to do... Something else, we're going to create a simple and quick tree farm. Now, the thing is, I want, I hate, I hate chopping down trees. It's one of my least favorite things to do in this game. And so somewhere around here, we need to have uh, like a tree farm. Now, <coughs> going off in this direction, I have some plans. And uh, going off in this direction, I have some plans for what we're going to do. Also, <laughs> going off in this direction, I have some plans. And of course we already have this thing going off in that direction, so it's going to have to be sort of down here. And by the way, I don't know if I mentioned it last episode, but this is from Llama Freak. If you haven't uh, seen his channel, and what it is by the way is a drop of evil. So if you watch on Sunday, tomorrow, it should be, if my schedule sense is correct, um, on my stream you will see me trying to, and probably failing, to get an angel ring. <laughs> Um, yeah, so a tree farm. I think we're gonna need to be out here somewhere. Now the thing is, we're gonna use industrial foregoing. I'm gonna go and craft some stuff up in a minute. Uh, 
But those things look really, really industrial and they don't fit in at all around here. So I'm gonna have to try and mask it somehow in a nifty manner. So we'll 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 see how that goes. But anyway guys, I'll be right back when I've crafted the stuff. Alright guys, so I think we have what we need here, pretty much. We need to sort out some sort of power as well, but uh, we'll fix that. I think maybe we'll actually pull some cables underneath here. We'll see how expensive that is. Uh, but uh, we have the plant sower, which will just basically sow plants for us. I've dug out a little area here. Um, but I think it needs to go here. <laughs> like that, okay. Uh, and that's gonna, uh, if we uh, activate the working area box on here, it's gonna plant in a 3x3 three three area here, in including uh, right above it. So let's see, let's put some dirt. That's not dirt, is it? <laughs> let's put some dirt. Uh, it's a bit of a problem with the dank now. You can't uh, like click on something and select it. But anyway, yeah, there you go. So like that. Now if we deactivate that, uh, we're gonna also have the uh, the the other machine, which is the plant gatherer. I think it's gonna go right next to it here, right? And if we activate the range on that, it's very cleverly arranged so that it has the same range. I think both of, both of these can accept range upgrades. North. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Anyway. Uh, but we don't need them, we don't need them. So basically, we're gonna have in here, we're gonna have in all these slots, we're gonna have saplings. And then we're gonna lock the thing, it needs power. Uh, but apart from that, as soon as it gets power, it'll start, I think, I'm hoping, <laughs> it'll start uh, producing stuff here. And the same thing with this, this needs power, but then once it has power, it'll start bre breaking all the things. Right, and then the nifty thing is we're going to take all the saplings that this collects and put them back into the system. So, we need a transfer node. In this case, I, I love them because they're so cheap, you know. It's early game and we don't have too much resources. So this is a great thing to do, to have. So if we just do this, uh, all of the things that it collects will end up in, in, the, in the plant server. And we can't have that, so we need to have a filter on it. And so this filter, and we need to place a sapling in there, whitelist, and I think the rest is okay. I think the rest is okay. And then we just put that on the on the um, transfer node. So that takes care of that, I think. And then we need to have another transfer node in the back, for instance. So like there, and just a, a little thing like that. And then some sort of chest, right? And that's it. So then this, this, uh, everything else I'm hoping will go into this chest here. And that'll be wood. It will also be olives in this case, because we're going to do an olive tree for now. An olive, olive tree farm. Yeah, so now the only thing is, how do I sort out power to these two machines? Now, I, the thing is, we have the culinary generator over here. And it's going really well, it's full. And these things, <laughs> oh, uh, they don't take very much power once they're full, you know. They only take a little tiny bit of power once they uh, activate. But, uh, you know, th this should be enough. This this thing should be able to drive that and that and this. We'll see anyway. So basically we need to dig out. Uh, let's see, we want to go straight here, right? So we need to dig out to here-ish, right? Oh no, uh, maybe to here, yeah, okay. So I'll do this off camera though, because you know, like I said, we're trying to keep it shorter this time. Okay, let's see, let's just connect this thing up, like this. We're just going to go all the way through this dark, dank tunnel. And uh, we'll hopefully uh, come out in the right place. In fact, we will. I know we will. Uh, this is roughly 50 blocks or so. It's not too bad, because these, uh, these pipes are actually not that pricey. So that makes that thing go. <laughs> let's see, let's take this one out for now. 
So there's our little tree farm. Now we just need to collect the, connect the co collector as well, like that. And that has power, so that will collect. Now this is not pretty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's not pretty. I'll tell you that, guys. Uh, I'll have to think of something here. I don't know if I can actually. Let's try this, actually. Let's try and just place the chest on top of it like this, or uh, next to it, or something. Let's place it like that. Hopefully, it'll uh, crops output uh, to the right and down right that's what we want and then energy oh yeah it produces sludge as well i don't i'm not exactly clear on what we do with sludge yet but i'm sure it'll become eminent fluid containers crops out the where's the energy energy there yeah so we have energy in the back right uh where's back back yeah so we can Disconnect all of those. I don't think it really matters in this case, but uh, ooh, well, actually, is that is that the front then? Yeah, that's totally not the front, mate. <laughs> Let's try and have it like this and see if this works. And then I thought we could just um, take some oak for now and make it a little planter box type thing. That's my idea, anyway. Uh, like this and hopefully they'll grow I mean there is also a fertilizer uh, fertilizer machine and it's not that uh, hard to make so I can always make it if we need it but I don't think we need it because I mean this doesn't have to have the greatest speed in the world it just sort of needs to work and uh, yeah so uh, what we can do now is we can dump that in there Let's see if we have any more saplings to put in. Uh, yeah, okay, we have a couple. Uh, now, I don't know how, how it spreads them out, though, so uh, I'll just spread them out like this. I'm sure that will be fine. And then we can take our dank knoll and cover this stuff up. And okay, so this is not too pretty, to be honest. I don't know if I have any leaves on my person. Nope. But I do have my shears. Where did I go? Oh, here we go. So maybe I'll take that leaf. <laughs> and maybe we can take two here. I need to make some more custom trees around here, actually. Oh, that's very unhelpful. Uh, like that, maybe. And just try and cover this abomination up a little bit you know it's not very pretty i need one more leaf <laughs> it's a cover-up job guys it's a cover-up job there we go so uh you know what we're gonna do now now we're gonna wait for this thing to uh, work uh, but what we do we're gonna go and look at how the wine is doing guys okay so I think it should be done by now. I mean, it takes a good long while, but not that long. Uh, yes, bottle of wine, quality 0 0.66. I don't know what that means, um, but I'm sure it's not that great, right? So if we put that there, we have now have a bucket of wine there, which is great. And then we need to go and grab to get ourselves some more grape juice. Grapes. Uh, oh yeah, grapes, sorry. Grapes, grapes. Oh, they've grown as well. That's excellent stuff. Let's see. Let's harvest these. Um, and let's then take... Yeah, let's see if this is enough to get a bucket anyway, right? Oh. <laughs> I don't want torches in there. How do I get them out? <laughs> Crikey me. Okay. Okay, uh, it's a shame that you can't just, oh, you can bottle it up like that. Okay, fair enough. Uh, bottle of wine, bottle of grape juice. Okay, cool. Fair enough, fair enough. So let me put that, then that should now start 
this wine should start making this grape juice into better wine. That's the the, the idea, anyway. <laughs> so hopefully that works. Okay, so we need more. Okay, anyway, uh, do we have a tree? Do we have a tree? Okay, you know, we'll wait until we have a tree, and then we'll see what happens. Aha, uh -huh, we have a tree, and uh, actually I saw it disappear. Some leaves disappeared. Oh, I bone mealed it, by the way. I cheated. But that's fine. So we have olives here. They don't seem to output. I need to dig down here again, don't I? And we have some no more saplings here, but they don't spread out. That is actually quite annoying, to be honest. That is actually quite annoying. So that means that it won't function efficiently, really, until we have a metric ton of saplings. Okay, okay, okay. Well, fair enough. I can always go and spread them out, I suppose, manually for a little while. Oh, and also it harvested, that's great, it harvested my things. Uh, now another thing I wanted to try out was that, to see if one of these on the side can grow or not, because there are blocks next to them. They can, so that's alright, that's alright. Alright, so well that has gotten the farm started anyway, so I guess I can go and try and find some more olive trees, or even take a sapling out and just uh, get a bunch, bunch more saplings to chuck into the farm. But uh, this, I don't know about this. We need to do something about this. Why did these leaves disappear though? That's just not, that's not alright. That's not on guys. Maybe we can just uh, cover it in dirt for now, like that. Maybe make it part of the landscape like this. Oh, come on. Surely you can do away with grass on your own. Uh, maybe like that. It looks a bit funny here, to be honest. Like that, maybe. I'm sure that's alright. <laughs> okay, so that's great, guys. That is great. We have a working tree farm, albeit slow. We have a uh, food supply. And now, we also have wine. You know what, I'm going to try and drink this bottle of wine and we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Maybe I will go blind. <laughs> inebriated. Ah, I'm inebriated. Doesn't seem to have any other effects as such. <laughs> but excellent wine, actually. Excellent wine, I have to say. I like the bouquet. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's going to be it for today. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time, guys. Alright? Bye!